Yo, what's going on everybody? Um, it's been probably like a month since I posted a video. So I figured it was about time to get something up on here. Um, it's good though, cause it gives me a lot to show. Um, I've been watching, you know, a lot of videos out there trying to keep up with all the guys and, and girls that I like out there. Um, this is what I got and mostly what I got since I made my last video. So. I'm gonna blow through them quick. I'm not gonna like dive in because I don't want to make a super long video. I'm just gonna start going right off the top. Um, I got Dave Mason alone together. You know, this is an album you see everywhere. Um, I've seen it so many times, but I finally got got a copy. Um, so that's just great. I mean, there's look at you, look at me on here. You uh, shouldn't have took more than you gave. Um, sad and deep as you. You know, this is just crazy good. And Dave Mason's been uh, a part of so many great things from Fleetwood Mac to uh, Traffic to Derek and the Dominoes, you know, so that's uh, no denying. Super Session I picked up. Uh, this is actually my second copy of it. I just picked up another one because this was much nicer condition than the one I already had. Uh, you know, Al Cooper, Mike Bloomfield, Steven Stills, or Steve Stills, as it says on here. A lot of good jamming, bluesy, instrumental, uh, a couple of cool covers, you know, just kind of like a late night, uh, crazy, like spaced out jam type of vibe, but also very tight, you know, very, very cool. Um, Clapton, Backlist by Eric Clapton. Um, <clears throat> this is one, you know, I have a lot of Clapton albums and I didn't get this one. This one kind of always, I never liked the cover. I know that's not a reason to like overlook an album, but it just... You know, I knew there was some good stuff on here, but um, just never actually grabbed it. And I found a cheap copy. Some of these have like the, there was a tag um, in the corner. So some of them kind of peeled, depending on what type of material the cover is, it'll peel a little bit. But otherwise, this is a great copy of this. Another very common one, you know, I've seen a lot, but <clears throat> um, with my, I think my favorite song on here is Early in the Morning, probably. It's really cool. Um, you know, just Clapton. I love Clapton, so I know people have different opinions about him, but I mean, if you listen to his, from Cream to Derek and the Dominoes to his solo works, I mean, you can't deny, you know, you just, you can't deny it. Um, this is a Bee Gees. I think this is the first Bee Gees record I have. I don't have uh, much like disco type of stuff, which is what most people think of when you think of the Bee Gees, but this is completely different. You know, the Bee Gees first. Um, so, uh, you know, I heard the one song on here, the Every Christian Lion Hearted Man will show you on here. I heard it in the record store actually where I got this and that sold me enough on it. Cause I'm like, who is this? You know, it, didn't, it does not sound like the usual Bee Gees. So I think that's very neat how it's completely different from what most people think of. And it was their first album, you know, <clears throat> cool cover, very good. Much different sound than usual for them. Here's a band that I don't really know at all. I didn't know, I blindly kind of got this one. Uh, Sun Volt, Sun, Sun Volt, I guess. Uh, this is called Electro Melodier, Melodier, Melodier. I'm sorry, I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce it. But this was in a sale bin, um, Electro Melo Melodier. You know, it has a color vinyl. I saw it was on sale and it also had color vinyl. I kind of looked it up online real quick before I got it. Um, it's very kind of sad, but true kind of, kind of vibe. Kind of like depressing, pretty depressing actually, but it is good music. They're like, all, I think they came out in the 90s, that band. Um, <clears throat> Spirit right here. This is another band I didn't have any records of yet. And this is the 12 Dreams of Dr. Sardonicus. I, I had a look because I don't want to mess that up. Sardonicus, Sardonicus. Uh, this is like a reissue. This came out, I think, on the... This pressing was like a late 70s. Uh, I don't know. You know, I, I usually look them all up when I get them, but I don't get too deep into the labels or... The pressing, you know, as long as it's a nice copy, you know, just pick what sounds good to you. This is real good. I only knew the song, uh, Animal Zoo. 
and that I knew that was on here, and I really liked that song a lot. So I was like, this album's probably pretty good. I think I got that for like eight bucks. So like, why the hell not? Uh, this is the Booker T and the MGs. Hip hugger, hip hugger. Um, this was like the 2020 reissue repress. Uh, this is actually European um, from Europe when I looked it up. So yes, yeah, Stax was like the original um, label. I think this came out when it did come out back in the 60s. And uh, this is really cool. I love, yeah, 67, it came out really good. I mean, if you know Booker T and the MGs, they're just legendary, like, you know, great instrumental playing and, and then everything comes together. It's very, very enjoyable. Um, so yeah, you know, I kept that in the shrink as I usually do. Um, Pacific Gas and Electric, Are You Ready? Kind of a funny cover because you got some long objects and, a, and, a, and an attractive woman with some straight long objects. So I think you could put the pieces together. I got this for two bucks. I've seen this around like for like 20, 25 bucks, whatever. I, I found digging in the back of a, a record store. That's usually how it goes when you find a nice, you know, it's a solid copy too. Um, these were, uh, this is a cool band from a California band, kind of late sixties, kind of that whole thing. Um, really good, gives you kind of like a soul or like gospel kind of vibe. Um, also like blues rock. Here's an album that I actually wanted for a long, long time. And I finally got it, Canned Heat. You know, I always loved Canned Heat. Um, this is just a sick cover because you got the like retro, retro astronaut suits and they're putting an American flag on the moon um, up and you know the flags upside down I don't know what the meaning supposed to be there but this is just crazy good this was like the last album they did with their original lineup too and it still has that the comic book in there the cosmic oh sorry it was back canned corn comics so that's pretty neat I was I was kind of looking through that um you know, nice, there's some wear on the cover a little bit, but like this is a cover where it kind of fits, like it's in space. So like it actually kind of would fit like if you have some ring where it just looks normal. But uh, this is great, you know, this has the hit, let's work together, like that is just known by everyone probably. Uh, another band that I absolutely love and wanted this for a long time, 10 years after Crinkle Wood Green. <clears throat> um, you know, you probably know the biggest on here, probably uh, 50,000 Miles Beneath My Brain. Um, common album, you know, it's out there. Some of the, I, I've seen this where it was actually more green. The cover was much more green. This is more of just a tan. Maybe, you know, maybe you've got this colored over time, but kind of cool. You have like a, a Coke bottle, a soda bottle with like boobs with tits on it. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> um... You know, but this is just great. This is a gatefold. Um, I just threw it in the sleeve, though. Real good, 10 years after. Um, I, I really like rock and roll music to the world by them. That album, always they always just blow me away. I mean, Alvin Lee, like, I know you're, you're either on one side or the other of if you like his playing or not, but um, I think Alvin Lee's, like, <clears throat> one of my favorite guitarists of all time. You know, like, I like Clapton. I like Alvin Lee. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if you're repeating a lot of blues licks. It matters, like, in the context and the feeling, obviously. So, I mean, they're just a powerhouse 10 years after. Uh, this is Buffalo Springfield again. So, you know, a lot of you probably know that, like, Neil Young and, and Steve Stills came out of this band. Uh, <clears throat> probably the most best known, but... You know, I found this, I was digging, digging, and I, I don't have, I think, any Buffalo Springfield. So this is great. I mean, this has like Broken Arrow. This has, um, uh, what's the, this has, um, Rock and Roll Woman on it. Uh, what, what's the one on uh, Mr. Soul? Yeah, how could I forget? And Expecting a Fly. So a lot of good uh, Neil Young kind of vibe on there especially um these two right here i'm excited about i'll kind of knock these both out together uh between the buttons rolling stones and 12 by 5 i found this between the buttons very cheap um because there is like a 
the covers are like ripped right here. You can't even really tell, <clears throat> but it is sort of ripped on the front. But another, uh, this is this is mono, you know, early Rolling Stones. Um, one that I overlooked for a while, but you know, I've been going on a, a more of a Stones kick lately. I mean, I've kind of like mixed emotions with them. Like they're obviously amazing, but like it's like you go through phases listening to them. Um, Twelve by Five by the Stones too. This is an album I recently got really into. This was a re this was repressed a few years after it originally came out. This one, uh, that Between the Buttons was an original uh, mono, you know, from from what I looked up and found. Um, but you know, the the one I really like on here is the um, well, you know, it starts with Around and Around, just the blues essential. Um, twenty one twenty South Michigan Avenue. That's just such a um, such a cool jam. You know, Under the Boardwalk. All these really cool songs early you know you got bill wyman you got brian jones and you know that's when the stones were the stones man i mean like that's <laughs> hard to beat that stuff um let's see what else we got switch to the genres a little bit some country johnny cash blood sweat and tears probably paid a little more than i should have for this copy but it's damn near pristine copy you know um this is just very about um, blood, sweat, and tears. About a you know the working man's life, America at its roots, what what America came from. Uh, I really like Chain Gang on here. I think yeah, he's like uh, I dig that ditch, I chop that corn, I curse the day that I was born. Like, you know what I mean? That's somebody's got to do the hard work, and that Johnny Cash embodied that. I think that lifestyle and in his music much better than. Uh, much better than most got a few left here i'm just trying to kind of blow through them just to show because i don't need to go in depth i mean you probably know these anyway uh, fresh cream i i came when i was when i was digging at this place um i came over a couple copies of this i found the first copy and i was like oh this is sick fresh cream and then i looked at the vinyl and it was scuffed to to hell so i mean then i found one it also has the uh where it's more of a like a wavy text, you know, it says fresh cream. Um, it's not just straight like this. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that's what they did over um, in Europe for the <clears throat> Europe pressings. And this was like the American uh, cover style, I think, pretty sure. But you know, this is gas. I mean, you know, you just look at them like, you, you they're, they, they mean business. Jack Bruce, Ginger Baker, Clapton. I, you know, I love that, that shit. I mean, I love cream. I love Clapton. It's just, it blows the damn roof off. You know what I mean? Like, no matter what you think of Clapton and anything, that will just never, ever, ever get old. Any of that stuff between that and the Israeli gears. And then, like I said, everything else Clapton does, does and Ginger Baker and Jack Bruce. I mean, like, come on. It's just insane. Powerhouse stuff. Um, the fact that Clapton is, like, still going, you know, I just saw him last year. I mentioned that before, but, like, that's so sick. Like, I'm so proud of that. Uh, new, <clears throat> This is New Riders by New Riders of the Purple Sage. Um, usually when I see anything by them, I pick it up, and there's, like, stuff that I I find, and, like, I can barely find it on the Internet. Like, obviously, it's on Discogs, but, like, a lot of their stuff isn't on streaming services. Like, this isn't. I mean, it's on YouTube, but... It's just so low key, a lot of it. And this is a really cool cover, you know, like of the planets is like a space theme. Um, everything I pick up by them, it ends up being so great. Like you just can't go wrong. Um, starts with this song, 15 Days Under the Hood, like another like work and busting your ass and stuff. Um, Steely Dan real quick, Royal Scam. This is like one of the, this was one of the two that I did not have by them. I need Countdown to Ecstasy and Pretzel Logic. I have most of their records, but just so cool. You know, they're in a whole school of their own, Steely Dan. Um, you know, they had many musicians kind of visit with them over the years. Um, too much for me to even know. I know some of their background, but you know, what's cool is that every album is like so different. Like every album really has its own groove like i think like you know it's steely dan but like it's its own thing every time um and this is actually the last one greg allman greg allman laid back 
just great. You know, another one I, I knew for a while. I knew some of the tracks on here for a while. And uh, I had been listening to this one song on here a lot. Uh, Please Call Home. I've been listening to that recently a lot lately. Capricorn Records. I've, you know, I've seen a lot of the uh, Almond Bros stuff on there. So, yeah, that's what I've been picking up mostly. I had a couple that I didn't didn't show here because I don't have them. I need something to put as the thumbnail. So, yeah. Um, thanks for stopping by on this channel. Thanks for watching any of my videos. Really appreciate it. Like I said, I figured this would be a good video because they just drop a bomb. I mean, that's some good. I'm so excited about that stuff. I've been getting like that's just adding and adding you know looking back it's like oh i got i'm buying too many i'm spending too much but like it's so worth it and it, it just never ends so uh yeah thank you guys for watching this i hope you really enjoyed it um if you like my my taste or my videos you know subscribe or like or whatever i would love some comments i'd love to reply to anyone um you know i try to get out there and be interactive as well so Thank you guys. Till next time. <laughs>